Just chilling out, mate. I think Harry's a bit popular, isn't he? <laughs> right, so it's Sunday, which is actually my day off, uh, but we've got quite an exciting day today. Me, Mum, Dad and Scott, we're going for brunch first, and then we are heading to Nick Gauntlet, who is my trainer, and we are going to look at some foals and some yearlings and potentially, potentially, choose one to buy. Um, and then, yeah, which is all very exciting, we haven't really thought about it, we've kind of talked to Nick um, the last couple of months about doing it and haven't really got round to doing it so I haven't really told anyone but we're going there because they're about to go to another um, yard to go out for grass in a couple of weeks and so Nick was like you need to get down now and then yes yeah, so we're going to take you with us we'll show you all the foals the yearlings we don't really know what we're doing we've never done this so we can't really give much insight as to how you're going to choose that bit we're not really sure, but Dad and I are quite good at uh, choosing horses. So we'll take you with us, show you what we do, and see if we end up uh, purchasing one. How excited are we to see <laughs> little cute horses? Very, very, very excited. It'll be very cute. Uh, We've just finished our brunch, uh, minus the pan of chocolate, so I'm going to take that with me. The dog was just outside because she had to stay in the car because we're not allowed dogs in here. And we're going to get on our way to Gloucestershire. Well, so there, turn, and a brother. Yes. Actually. Um, but uh, obviously not by him. Shows you. There's loads. I'm in heaven. Harry's popular. That's the yearlings and yeah. he's a two year old. Yeah. What's the D? D is Dino's because. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I think Harry's a bit popular, isn't he? Okay. I know it green because they're high. We put the to come in every day and have them, so they're all very. She's got a sister that's very, very well, so Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that is um, um, <laughs> the, the, he's the, the one the bay stood in here. Um, and the dam is the third yeah. one. So yeah. Hello. Edgar. He's um, easy camp. <laughs> the mayor. The mother went, the mother was fourth. Oh, Hey guys, we thought we'd do a voiceover because it's a little chaotic there as there were so many yearlings and two-year-olds. So when we first turned up, we didn't really know what we were looking for. We decided to go for a two-year-old over a yearling just because we could bring him home sooner and we could start the backing process sooner. So that narrowed it down. Then we decided to narrow it down further by going for a gelding instead of a mare. That's just personal preference. I prefer geldings. So that left us with about five or six to choose from. So we then decided to um, have a look at which ones were really big now that potentially are going to grow into really big horses because I'm quite small. So that um, narrowed it down by another couple. So we ended up with three that we were looking for, looking at. Enzo. One behind. Errol. And that one, those, those three. And Elliot. So they were the three. 
As it's winter time, they're all in this indoor barn and then in the summer they will go out to grass. So we're now to have a look at how they move. Nick is trying to get them to trot around the outside of this barn, which they weren't really having much of. They didn't really understand what they were supposed to do. Um, so we're then starting to just have a little look at how they move. Uh, and we've already had a look at their confirmation and their temperament. For me, that's what's really important is their temperament and how they interacted with us, how they interact with the other horses, and then a little bit about how they move. They actually all move very well. We then narrowed it down to two, which are Enzo and Errol, just because their personality really stood out to me and they kept coming over to say hello and I liked the way they moved. Just chilling out, mate. You're just chilling out. Once we decided on Errol and Enzo, we then brought them outside the barn to have them trot up and have a look at them in the daylight. <laughs> you have to do them at the same time. I don't think they'll go on their own. They're only two Can we do one at a time, Nick? Do you think or not? Or do you think they'll go funny? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys it's a few months later now and as you can all see the yearlings and two-year-olds are out from the barn and out in the open as it's now summertime it was a really tough decision to choose between errol and enzo but we have made our decision on who we thought would fit best i'm going to talk about why we chose who we did a little later on but for now can you guess who we chose find out right now oh How's he looking? Looks good. He's looking a lot we should, have, we should have sent you pictures and flipped them around. Yeah. We sent the pictures done a, done a mirror image and see if you noticed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got stuff all over you, mate. Yeah. Trying to get closer, but I'm a bit surrounded here. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't mind that, do you? Yeah, you don't need a head collar. No, I don't need a head collar. Yeah, I know. Are you happy, Ash? Yeah, yeah. very happy. Yeah. I think he wants to play a bit with me now, don't you? Come <laughs> hey on, buddy. Oh, they're all having a lie down over there. 
tough life being a horse. Yeah. Yeah. You be tough. You being a thug now, you're all bright. Yeah. Arrow. <laughs> Good boy. Hello. Hi, Zenzo. Is that nice? Is that nice? Good boy. Oh, Enzo is interested. Unfortunately, he didn't make the cut, did he? Only you did, buddy. Oh, he said hello. <laughs> He's back <laughs> again. <laughs> We're very happy with our decision to go for Errol. So I thought I would just explain to you guys a bit about why we chose Errol. It was quite a tough decision between the two of them. Uh, they both moved very well. So in that respect, it was quite difficult. There wasn't really much to choose from. Enzo was actually really friendly. The first time we went, he kept coming up to us a lot. So I really liked his personality. Errol was friendly, just didn't come up quite so much. And Enzo also has quite a striking appearance. So that really drew me in. However, when we then sat down and looked at it, the main reason we then decided to go for Errol was because his sire is Party Trick, who Nick Gauntlet owns, who's out of chilly morning and been to badminton with William Foxpit and won. And when we first went to view the yearlings and two-year-olds, we went because we specifically wanted a yearling or a two-year-old out of party trick. So Enzo still has great breeding, but we decided in the end to go with Errol because that's originally what we went for and there wasn't much else to choose between the two of them anyway. Since going back another couple of times, I'm super happy with my decision. I think he's such a nice horse and I'm really looking forward to starting working with him and the backing process and seeing when we can go. Okay, hi guys, welcome back. So this I think is the third visit. Um, so the third lot of footage you're gonna see of us coming to view Errol, my two-year-old. Now, the thing we've got to try and figure out is which one he is out of all of these. We don't know which one he is. We're not really we know sure. he's not that one. Cause... We can spot this one's Enzo, who was on the first bit of footage because he was the other one I was really interested in. Errol had a sock, but they're all muddy They're all hell. muddy. Definitely not the one on the right because that's too dark. Right, well, better get in there, eh? Yeah. Sorry, so we think we, fa oh, we, think we found him. I think it's, this is Errol. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Not you, no, sorry. That's Errol. And that's Elliot. And this is ours, and he's looking over at Ashley walking up there. It's your new mum. Do you want to go and say hello? <laughs> Ooh. Come on, let's go and see her. Good boy. Come on then. Errol's coming to see you. <laughs> he's calling for you. Oh, he's coming. Hello. And he's done with you. <laughs> he's bored of me. Hey? We found him. We found him. It was quite hard because he's very muddy, so we couldn't see the white sock. But this is Errol. Hey, buddy, you're looking a bit hairy compared to when we last came. They're all a bit feral at the minute. <laughs> Errol currently doesn't want anything to do with me. He's had enough. Okay, so this is Errol. He is a two-year-old. I got him from my trainer, Nick Gauntlet. So he's down in Gloucestershire. Try again. And Try again. And just go up to him. He's two. He doesn't, he doesn't understand. <laughs> okay, so this is Errol. He is two years old. I, he's just, he's not, he's, he's not interested in me <laughs> at all today. He was early and we didn't get to film it. And this is just, you know, the life of owning a two-year-old that you don't really see very often. No, so he's two. He's from my trainer, Nick Gauntlet. He bred him. 
Uh, he's out of Party Trick, who's Nick Stallion. So he's down in Gloucestershire at the minute with all of his, um, the other two year olds, so he can be very sociable. Hello. Uh, so he will be here till April next year when I will then bring him back and then I will back him next year. Just do a little bit with him and then turn him out again. There, now he's coming to say <laughs> hello, aren't you? And made my hand very muddy. I haven't, I've only seen him actually twice, I think. The first time I viewed him and the last time. So this is only the third time, so he doesn't really know me. Hence, he keeps wandering off and is a bit confused who, who I am, really. But he is quite friendly. He was quite involved with me earlier on. Um, he just wants to eat now and he's obviously very muddy because it is winter so they will be going back into an indoor barn like they were last winter when we first saw him which you would have seen some footage of that so they're going back in there in a couple of weeks um, a big pole barn so they're out of all of the elements but they can still roam around and have lots of hay so my plans with Errol are to back him next year and then eventually event him obviously he's still only three next year so he won't even really do much as a four-year-old but my plans are to event him and hopefully he'll be my one of my next event horses he's out of a really good um stallion party trick who's out of chilly morning who uh william fox pit rode to the olympics um so yeah so hopefully he'll be my next event horse so the plans are to back him next year do a little bit and then start doing a bit more when he's four i'm not sure what's going on here there's a female over the other side of the gate so all the boys are getting in on the action Errol is very interested in eating today and not in what I've got to say. <laughs> Jesus, you scared me. Why so he's getting scared, Guys, we didn't film an outro when we last went to view Errol, but we hope you've enjoyed the vlog, getting to see how we chose Errol, why we chose him, a few clips about Errol. We will be planning on bringing Errol back April of this year to start the backing process and do a little bit of handling. We will definitely vlog that and vlog all of the backing process so you can see start to finish. We're really happy with our choice. So we hope you've enjoyed this vlog and if you do, please like, share and subscribe. Really appreciate it and we'll see you for the next one.